welcome. The first appearance of the Doom Patrol occurs in My Greatest Adventure number 80. This was an unusual title for the superhero team to premiere. Originally, My Greatest Adventure was an anthology science fiction comic. However, in 1963, with superheroes being a huge genre once again, DC began to abruptly change its adventure and science fiction comics into straightforward superhero books. This is why Doom Patrol premiered in this oddball title which is kind of appropriate considering this is an oddball team. In this issue, we are, obviously, introduced to the members who will become the team called the Doom Patrol. There's Rita Farr, an actress who would be exposed to a weird chemical steam that gave her the ability to grow or shrink in size. There's also Larry Trainer, a test pilot who exposed himself to the wave belts of inner space, whatever that means. He subsequently discovered he could release a negative man from his body, However, this negative man must return within 60 seconds of being released or Larry will die. It's not explained how Larry knows this or why this would happen, it just does. And then there is Cliff Steele, a stunt driver that was horrifically maimed in an accident. His brain, which was the only undamaged portion of his body, is removed and placed inside a robot shell. The person who did this transplant is the man who brought all these individuals together, the wheelchair-bound Chief. Larry is reluctant to join a team of misfits, but with the barest amount of prodding, Larry joins in their first team-up, finding and disarming a bomb. Not exactly a huge threat, but you gotta start somewhere. Following this success, they are asked by the Chief to find a spaceship which contains a device that can turn any form of matter into atomic fuel. Unfortunately, Chief's nemesis, General Omortis, has been spying on the group this entire time, and he decides he wants the spaceship for himself. Conflict ensues. The end result being that General Amortis finds himself trapped inside the spaceship as it launches itself into space, and then blows up for no apparent reason. Afterwards, the team sees a newspaper with a headline announcing their formation. For no apparent reason, the press dubs them the Doom Patrol. A few things that stand out. Every member feels like a misfit and an outcast, believing they have no place in society, which really sets the tone for the series. Secondly, everyone is thin. Even Cliff, who is in a metal body, looks like a 98-pound weakling. This is in stark contrast to the average superhero, especially Marvel superheroes, that were usually pretty bulky. Again, this sets in place the idea that this isn't an average group of super-powered people. They really don't want to be doing what they're doing, but they have nothing else going on, so yeah, might as well team up and stop bad people. Hi there, thanks for watching and welcome to the rambling bit at the end. This video is like a pilot episode. I'm testing the water to see if there's enough interest from you fine people to continue this as a complete series. All episodes will be about 3 to 5 minutes long, just like this one, but without the rambling at the end. And I'll do a few here and there when I need time to clear my head while doing longer videos. I tried to do these as shorts, but there was no way I could compress an issue into one minute. It just wasn't happening. See, years ago, I did a handful of these issues and, well, it was one of my least popular ventures. Oh sure, some people liked it, but there was a pretty muted response, I guess you could say. Maybe there's more interest this time around, I simply don't know. Which is why I'm doing this first episode. I'll be looking at the likes, comments and views and all that boring analytic stuff before deciding. In the meantime, I might do a few more just to see the result, or maybe I'll do a series just looking at first appearances. I'm kind of undecided. Alright, that's about all I have to say. I now leave the matter entirely in your hands.